It's miserable. I wake up every day with a headache. I stumble to the kitchen just to grab anxiety pills, headache pills, and an allergy pill. The doctors can't figure out what's wrong with me. Miserable. I head off to work, put a smile on my face, trying, pretending, acting like the person I desperately want to be. Miserable. I head home, tired, exhausted. All I want to do is lay on the couch and eat junk food to mask the pain. The pain that's come back, that's radiating down my back and neck. Miserable. You want to talk about miserable? That's me. What are you going to do about it? Purpose. You want to talk about purpose? Or the lack thereof? I can't do anything meaningful. I didn't go to college. I can't get a job that's worth anything, that's something that I'm going to be proud of, something my family's going to be proud of me for. My husband, he's the one with the good job. He's the one that supports us. I don't have anything to bring to the table. I mean, yeah, sure, I stayed at home and raised the kids until they were school age, you know, so that daycare didn't have to raise them. That's got to stand for something, right? Yeah, so why do I feel, still feel so hollow, so unworthy? Where's my purpose? What are you going to do about it? Waste. You want to talk about waste? I'm completely wasting my life away. I am 32 years old, and the only hobby that I've had for the past 10 years is watching television. I watch 15 hours of television every single weekend. Lifetime movies, Law & Order SVU marathons, that's the life I know. I have no energy. I have no desire to do anything. I was a four-sport, all-conference athlete in high school, and now I'm just completely wasting my life away. I'm not providing any benefit to anyone. I'm just watching TV. And I try to rework out routine possible. I can't stick with anything, and I don't understand why. Maybe if I had some friends to do it with me, I could stick with it. But all of my friends are moms. And now I'm a mom, and I have to have energy for my son. I want to set an example. I want to learn how to, how to eat healthy and cook healthy because I need to do that for my son. And I have to save for college, and I have to provide for my family. How am I going to find the time to do all of that? What are you going to do about it? Believe. Believe in yourself, they said. I'm 37 years old. The doctor just told me I'm 100 pounds overweight. I have high cholesterol. I'm pre-diabetic. And he wants to know if I would consider taking weight loss pills or having weight loss surgery. Believe in yourself, they said. I was a nurse for 12 years. I know the complications associated with obesity, poor nutrition, poor fitness. How did this happen to me? Believe in yourself, they said. I went to the nutritionist. I started logging my food. She said, I think you should join the local wellness center. I'm not from around here. I don't know anyone. And I'm a stay-at-home mom right now. You convinced my husband it's worth the investment in my health. Believe in yourself, they said. I joined the gym. First day, got on the treadmill. Maxed out at 60 seconds. Took the rest of the time to recover. Believe in yourself, they said. I'm educated. I went to the nutritionist. I joined the gym. I know the complications associated with obesity. What are you going to do about it? Lost? You want to talk about lost? I walk through life like a zombie every day. I go to work, I eat, and I sleep. Lost. I'm sick. I have PCOS and hypothyroid, and it has taken over my body. I don't have enough energy to do anything in life. My body doesn't work. I can't even make a baby. I can't even make my husband a father, and that's something he wants the most. I'm depressed. I'm so lost, and I feel so alone. Nobody understands. They all think I'm making it up in my head. I can't talk to anybody about it. I have food, but I don't have enough energy to cook. So I go through the drive-thru. That kind of food, 
it just feeds into my sickness and makes it worse, keeping me from my dreams of being a mom. I'm lost. I am stuck in this vicious circle of depression and eating and my sickness, and I cannot get out. I need help. I am screaming for help. What are you going to do about it?